Welcome back to my channel. If you guys watched my last video that I posted about four months ago, I was in the process of dealing with and on the road to recovery of an eating disorder. And I just wanted to give you guys an update. When I posted that video, I considered myself recovering from an eating disorder. I technically was because I got to the stage where I was able to admit I had one. My desire to overcome it was stronger than ever, so I considered that the beginning of my recovery process. But I have to admit that the, the one last blockage was taking that last leap. So I'd wake up every single day with such motivation to want to get through it, but I couldn't get myself to like pass a certain amount of calories. Like I was still held back. There was like that one last step that I just couldn't get myself to take. What actually got me past that last step is not something that I thought would have done it. Like I thought I might've had to start therapy, but shockingly I didn't do at all. And today, which I think is crazy, because I never thought I'd be able to come to the day where I can say that I consider myself recovered. And I told you to be patient, and I told you to be fine, and I told you to be balanced, and I told you to be kind, and I will A lot of girls who do have an eating disorder, according to what I've been told, a lot of them have an obsession with exercise. And that's not something that I struggled with in my eating disorder. I never wanted to exercise. In fact, I actually had a fear of exercise because the way my eating disorder worked was I wanted to have a tiny puny body. I didn't want to gain muscle. I didn't want my shape to even change. So my goal was just to not exercise my body and to intake as little calories as possible. And it was actually, honestly, probably a week after I posted my first video on my eating disorder. And my best friend who takes this bootcamp Pilates class, I've known she's been doing that for like seven years, but for some reason it was like that weekend where I said, you know what? I wanna come and try the class with you. So I went with her to one class and I actually loved it. And I knew that if I continued, it'd be scary because, you know, like I said, I don't want my body to change in any way, shape or form. I'm just coming out of that class, the feeling I felt like it was just, it wasn't about exercise or trying to get fit or this will help me lose weight. It was, honestly it was just purely therapeutic for me, just emotionally that I said, like, I need to continue this. So I continued going about a month in, my body started to change. I noticed my abs changing. I noticed my butt getting bigger, um, which I know, how could I complain about that? I freaked out. I went through a phase of wanting to quit. I wanted to stop going. It really, really scared me. I think I even took a week off. During that week that I took off, I started to realize that my thoughts were becoming unhealthy again and I wanted to catch myself before I relapsed and I pushed myself to continue. And the way I kind of pushed myself into going again was I told myself, I had to repeat it to myself over and over. If my body is changing right now while I exercise, exercise is considered scientifically a healthy thing for your body. So if my body is changing this way, it obviously means that this is how my body wants to form then my body taking this shape is obviously healthy, whether I like it or not. Whether it's a shape that I like or not, this is how my body wants to form while doing something that's healthy for it. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 a.m., I do fitness boxing. And then on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I do boot camp Pilates. So before I go, I always eat a banana, um, and then I act eat an actual breakfast when I get home. But just so that I have some energy before I work out. I like to eat a banana. Which by the way, I used to never ever eat before like 11 a.m. because I didn't want my appetite to start opening so early in the morning. One of the symptoms of an eating disorder. We don't do that anymore. Brand new life I've been looking, I've been looking, I've been looking lately. My 
mind literally started to like rewire itself to like accept the fact that my body is allowed to change. There were like, there were two steps. There was the accepting and the understanding that it's okay that my body is allowed to change and take shape. And then there was starting to actually love the shape. And because I got to a place where I was so okay with my body changing, I started to eat more. And you're lost in the universe, lost in the universe, don't lose faith. My mother says, your whole life's in the hand of God. I could go. I've never been in a healthier place in my life than I am right now. I eat everything, obviously still healthy. I limited myself to such few foods when I was going through my eating disorder because I just stuck to the few things that I knew wouldn't make me gain weight and I was too afraid to try anything else, even if something else was less calorie. I wasn't sure how it was gonna affect my body, so I wouldn't risk it. I finally got to a place where I'm like eating food. Like I feel like I was just like reborn while I drink my matcha. To look back and see that I didn't need therapy and I was able to go through these battles in my head, obviously with taking action. It's crazy to me that I was, I was able to get to this point. It honestly is crazy to me. And I just wanna thank all the people, you know, who were there for me throughout this process and all my friends and the crew at G50 Studio. I just wanna thank them because I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them. Whether they know it or not, if you guys wanna see a what I eat in a day, now that I am in a healthier place, uh, subscribe because that'll be the next video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. You should be done in about one minute. Okay, I'll be there in one minute also. Okay, workout buddy. Okay, workout buddy, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Bye. Bye.